Oh no! What happened? Your PC ran into a problem. Hello my friends and welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to quick and easy set up Adobe Premiere so that you can work faster and the topic of today's video is going to be autosave. This is a really important topic and if you haven't done any changes in your autosave then you want to do it right away because if you're working on some project and for some reason Adobe Premiere can crash or your computer can just crash like the power outage or something then you want to make sure that the autosave files are going to be available so that you can recover your project without having to redo all the work. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to have way more Adobe Premiere tutorial videos coming soon to this channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, smash the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I appreciate guys very much and let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and start the Adobe Premiere Pro. I got it over here. Once we're gonna start, we're gonna import a few files. Let's just go ahead and open up this project here. This is my project that I've been working on. It's a pretty long project, so I don't wanna lose it. I wanna make sure that the autosave settings are on. And this is really important when you're working on a larger project. And even when you're working on a smaller project, this is still important. The autosave settings on Windows machines are located in Edit. Then you go down to Preferences, and then you can go to Autosave. And here's the menu for Autosave. You want to make sure that this check mark is on so that Autosave is working. And let's have a look at the second setting here. It says Automatically Save Every 5 Minutes. This is my setting because I set it to 5 minutes. Originally, it's set to 15 minutes. But I find this is not enough. If you're working pretty fast in Adobe Premiere, in 15 minutes you can get a lot done. And then if it, for example, crashes on the 14 minutes before it autosaves, then you have to redo all those 14 minutes that you have already edited. And you can do a whole bunch of different trims. You can adjust volume, speed, FX, a whole bunch of different things. So in 15 minutes you can do a lot. And then if you have to redo that all, that's not good. So the first thing you want to do is change this to like five minutes. You can do it as low as one minute, but I think this is a little bit too paranoid because really in one minute you cannot do that much work unless you're absolutely doing it super quick. And I gotta keep in mind that every time Adobe Premiere saves a project, it just stops everything. So for example, if you're trying to drag a file or if you're trying to trim something, it will stop it and it will auto save. So it doesn't wait for you to finish the action that you're doing which is really not convenient if you set it every one minute. Keep it to five minutes or you can change it to whatever you like, maybe like seven minutes or eight minutes. Let's pay attention to this setting here, maximum project versions. Originally in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020, it's set to 20, which basically gives you 20 versions of autosave. And these two settings work side by side. What it means is actually one is affecting the other setting. So for example, when you have 5 by 20, it means that every 5 minutes it's going to autosave and it's going to keep up to 20 versions of the autosave. So you just multiply it, which gives you 100 minutes. Basically, that's only 1 hour and 40 minutes of your workflow, which is not really enough. Lots of projects take a longer time to finish and you want to have as many autosaves as possible so that you can go back to that autosave in case you change your mind and you want to go back to the previous stage of your project. So this is going to be really handy. So I keep it at 50 and then it's going to give me 250 minutes, which is over four hours of the project. And I think that's plenty for me because unless you're working on a long documentary or some kind of movie that takes like weeks and months to finish, then you might want to increase that number to more. But keep in mind, it's going to increase the storage required to keep those autosaves. In this case, 50 is like a golden middle. So I think that's going to be a good deal. So this is my settings. You can change that to whatever you like, but I recommend doing it this way because it's going to give you enough backups to go back to. You can also save this check mark, save backup project to Creative Cloud. If you want to load it in the future from the cloud on a different machine or even on your machine, and the last check mark is autosave, also saves the current project. What it means is basically with saving autosave files, it's going to do the same thing as you would do like manually saving the project, pressing Ctrl plus S. So if you don't want to do that, then it would save the project. It could be good and bad depending what you're working on. And if you're working in your own projects, it's neither good nor bad because it will just auto save your files and it's actually pretty good because then you don't have to press Ctrl S every time. 
But if you're working on somebody else's project or somebody send you a project to review, and then you're gonna have this check mark enabled, that means whenever autosave happens, it will save all the changes that you made to the project. And this may not be really good because you didn't wanna save any changes that you make while reviewing this project. So if you have this check mark enabled and you're working on somebody else's project, I recommend making a copy of the project, just go to the project, copy the project and open up this copy and then any changes made to the project is gonna be saved on the copy and not on the original project, which is gonna be good because you don't wanna save changes to the project that you've been sent. So that's another thing that you gotta keep in mind. So basically this is all the tips that I wanted to share with you today. And if you're doing something, you might forget other things, but don't forget to do that because this is gonna save you some time and it's gonna be really important because eventually if you're working in Adobe Premiere on the computer, there's gonna be crashes and there's gonna be something happening. So you wanna make sure that you save it and then next time it happens, you're gonna be ready for it. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comment section below what you think. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I appreciate guys all of your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.